Come on, girl. Let's walk around one time. So, last night, I tried to get her out on the late walk, and she didn't want to come out. So I moved some stuff around. I gave her a minute. Uh, tried to get her out again, and she didn't want to. So this time, I didn't use force, right? So then today, uh, oh, man, I got to get better about my subject. Sometimes the need to potty overcomes the fear, right? Um, and if you just keep doing stuff eventually, and you do it in a, hey, come this way. We always come this way. Come on. You want to go that way? Oh, we do always go this way because it's wider. I need to start getting you in that skinny part. Come on, girl. Let's go one time around. This is interesting because she usually likes coming back this way. Now, she doesn't usually come out in the dark because even at nighttime, when I get her out, it's not dark yet. Not that she's scared of the dark, I don't know. But usually when we come this way, she's ready to go. So, uh, maybe it's because I try to go in that skinnier part. I thought we'd gone through there before though. Anyways, because she ate good last night, so, uh, but she had pooped. So she's only pooped like once a day since she's been here. Um, and then, so she had pooped before dinner. Right, she pooped before dinner, so that's why in the evening time I wasn't gonna make her go, and she didn't drink water. Right, she pooped and peed um, on the outing before dinner, and so I was like, "Well, she doesn't want to, tonight. Will be the night that she doesn't have to come out." Right, so a lot of times in the night times I've been I've been making her come out just like in the mornings, right? Because because she has to go potty. Right, and uh, do do do. So, anyways, oh, so this morning, this is the first time she's ever been out this early, but right? it's usually eight or nine o'clock, and right now it's like five thirty. <coughs> uh, excuse you, pig. Hi, but that was one thing when I was at the shelter. They said, like, with some dogs, it was like, eh, just let them be. But at the shelter, we had the little troughs that they can pee and poop if they really had to go. If they, you know, when they were super scared. Um, but they said, eventually, the need to go potty, you know, if, if they were potty trained pretty good before they got there, the need to go potty will overcome their fear of having to go to the door. Right? And so, anyways, this morning, when I was getting her out, this is what I always do. I go, come on, girl. And I'll do like a little bit of leash pressure just to see how she acts. Um, well, first I do just in her, are you ready to go? Or something like that. Come on, girl. And then I'll step like this. Like there's the crate. I try to be on the side and I'll step, I'll step sideways like this to try to use motion for motivation. You're a good girl. She's like, what the hell are you doing, you weirdo? Um... So, and then if she doesn't come with a movement, then I'll do like a little leash pressure like this. Right, I'll go like this. Just a real soft and see if that works. If she just lays there, then she just lays there. And then I'll try again. And then, so sometimes I have to do more leash pressure, right? And then a lot of times she goes with that second one. And then there's been a couple times where she really wants to dig in. And that's usually because something ha has been different from when she's got here. Like, uh, let's see, one time it was because Chico yelled. <laughs> and then I think Olivia was here that day as well. It was the first day Olivia was here. So yesterday when Olivia was here, I tried putting Olivia in the crate to see if that helped her. Because she kind of puts her head forward and then she'll look around. And then, so I thought maybe because Olivia was here. So I put Olivia in the crate, um, and she still don't want to come out. So I had, ah, bugs flew in my ear. 
decided to use a little more leaf pressure to get her out. Um, and then once we get out, she's like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> uh, so it's just kind of getting her to come out. Um, but what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So, so here we got down through the apartments. Get over there. She pooped right away. It's like, girl, why didn't you come out last night? <laughs> but last night, I think, I think maybe if I would have made her come out last night, she would have pooped. I just wasn't. What happened? What was it, girl? Right? So, see, I have a hard time not talking to when something like that happens. It's just the energy with which you talk to them, I think. Like, acknowledging that they weirded out about something, I don't think is a big deal. It's the way you acknowledge it. Right? You want to be real neutral until they come up. I think, you know, you got a happy-go-lucky dog or you've gotten the dog out of their fear and they're not so weirded out by stuff then you can be like oh it's okay but right? use your different energies you gotta be careful with your energy until they get some confidence so see here when I get to her afternoon time if she doesn't want to come out I'm not going to make her come out well you know what I need to you've got to work like every day this is stuff we can't it's not like your sit down stay stuff where you skip a day or two, it's not a real big deal. I need to get her where we can start doing that stuff. You wanna go to the neighborhood? We can go around the cul-de-sac. Let's go around this little cul-de-sac. I want you to go for a long walk. And then we'll just do your, well, yesterday I lessened it too. I've been getting her out for an hour and a half to two hours. Um, cause things are going slow. Uh, last couple of days have been just an hour. Right, so we're getting on a kind of normal schedule. Normal schedule, I guess. Do you remember Walter? Uh, what else? Oh yeah, so I think this morning it might have been a lot easier because she had to poop bad. And hopefully it's all the good ones, right? So it's it's weird the it's been the nine o'clock ones where I've really had to get her to go out. Right? So the morning time. But the afternoon times, I don't think I've ever had to fight with her. Fight with her. I think it's been come on and then I move and she pretty much comes every time. The morning ones have been uh, that weird bird noise freak out or the mailbox. So anyways, it's been that, uh, morning times where it's been like hard, easy, uh, a lot easier, same as that one, and then hard again because that was the, that was the Monday. Let's see, what are we on? Today's Thursday, so that's seven days. So let's think about this. Friday was hard, to be expected. Saturday was easier than Friday. Sunday was easier than Friday. That, yeah, that's what it was. So it was two fairly easy ones. Uh, it was a hard one, to be expected. Then two fairly easy ones, right? And then that was. Then Monday was the first day Olivia was here, and I left her out. Um. Do do do, just to see. And I probably shouldn't have left her out. I probably should have put her in the crate. But I think because of yesterday, even if I would have put her in the crate, she might have been weird. Just because it's the different change, right? She had got used to something for three or four days, and then now there's a different thing here, <laughs> right? So that Monday was really hard. But once she came out, she was cool. She did the, you know, and I just had to back everybody away from her till she uh, was better. But going out the door has been easy. Just getting out of the crate has mostly been easy, a couple times hard. All right? So in seven days, I've had, other than the initial really hard one, there's been 
two morning hards and all the afternoons have been pretty easy. I, I wasn't taking her before dinner until Tuesday. So the first four days, she was only going twice. Now she's going out three times. I usually get them all out four times. Um, anyways, that's been our schedule. So I'm probably gonna stick with her doing three times. Like, if she wants, if she wants to do an early potty walk, I'll take her. Uh, oh man, we're fixing to have another dog here too, though. Hey, caramba. Um, so I probably need to stick with morning times being just her nine o'clock. And today I brought her because she didn't go out last night. Oh no, whatever. I need music. It's, oh, that's what I was going to talk about and I stayed on this stupid thing. Oh, I got to talk about that with Chico. <laughs> if I remember, that'll be five minutes from now. Come on inside of the pool. You're good girls. All right, we're out of here.